All right, WWE 100 show number 112 continues. We got Eric Douglas representing the resurgence against uh, that terrorist like motherfucker, Ahmed. I don't know where his towel is today. Maybe he didn't want to scrape it and bring it out here. But that's okay. We don't need to see it. Last time we saw Ahmed, I was whooping his ass from uh, corner to corner. And uh, that was fun. You know, Ahmed, he, he's trash. You know, but I mean, he's not in my league. You know, I'm, I'm the first ever Supreme Heavyweight Champion. You, you just can't compete with me. So, but I gotta give Ahmed credit. He hit like two moves on me. So, that's two more moves than most people can get. I mean, fairly saying like M Mikhail Polishkov got nothing on me I destroy international wrestlers now I'm just too good for these domestic guys speaking of good domestic wrestlers though Aaron Douglas is one of the best not the best he likes to say that um, I don't want to break his little heart and tell him he's not the best but he's pretty good see there he goes again he, he likes to be the greatest and you know you know bless his little soul you know if he if you think so, you know. But Ahmed, you know, that, that motherfucker needs Jesus, you know. Ahmed, are you a terrorist? He looks like Mr. Potato. Ahmed, are you gonna bomb America? Cause I could get like a lot of money if I stop you from bombing a, a, tr a, a building. We'll split it. I'll split it with you. We'll split it 80-20. Uh, Ackman's very familiar with the uh, cross face move uh, done by another terrorist, Chris Benoit. Douglas <laughs> needs to get the ropes here. Rockman might get his first win in the history of uh, America. I think Ackman made a, a cameo in Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, just briefly though. Now we don't want to assume that Ahmed is with uh, an affiliate terrorist organization. And he doesn't like to be called a terrorist. He, he prefers the term freedom fighter. So, um, it's, it's offensive if they call him a terrorist. Like, if we call in, like, a Nick or something like that, that would be offensive, you know, because he's Irish. So if you call him a terrorist just because he's from the Middle East, you know, now you're just a fucking Middle East, you know? So, and we need to do better than that, okay? Although, the most over-wrestler in WWE today is, man, I'm wrestling later today, which is Bobby Otis, which makes no sense to me at all. Um, he's actually popular with the African-American audience, and I, I had to double check that, I don't know why, I guess they think it's funny that he, he thinks that they won the war, but I don't know, I don't know where New WWE is going, that's why I'm taking personal responsibility, and the resurgence is going to be the future of WWE. CJ Price, Aaron Douglas right here, Taylor Made, Ace Armani, myself. These new kids like Bobby Otis and Ahmed and, uh... Adrian and Torque. I don't I don't know about these guys, you know? Yeah. Ah. WNRE's future is in my hand. I, I gotta I gotta do what I can. <laughs> he looks like a rejected uh, member of the foot clan. Oh, reversing the pressure. One. Two. Nice drop kick by Aaron Douglas. Aaron Douglas is over three years with WWE, and the man has never missed a show. Uh, he's he's made, I, can't, I think I've lost count now, but I want to say uh, 74 in a row, something like that. It's pretty insane. Like I, like I said before, this man has unmatched dedication. Oh, knees across the back. Good reversal by Ackman. I'm not actually sure who hired Ackman, or if he just showed up. It could have been Commissioner SNL, or Commissioner Dawson, um, maybe he's a free agent. Oh. Who are you praising? Oh, Allah, okay. Muhammad Ali or Allah? 
I do want to get that clear. Huge DDT by uh, the Freedom Fighter, Achman. Achman, are you in the Taliban? Yeah. <laughs> How's that going for you? Sir! <laughs> I kill you! <laughs> I kill you! Sorry, it's, I kill you! Boo! <laughs> you gotta wonder if the Taliban is expanding. Because maybe they're not just trying to bomb locations anymore. They're trying to infiltrate backyard wrestling federations and uh, just, you know, work their way up from there. Maybe maybe next they'll uh, work the McDonald's or something. Very nice, Douglas. Textbook. I'm pretty sure Ackman has never read a textbook. All those guys dummies. Oh! Suplex DDT. <laughs> Shoulders oh. bounced right, right into the midsection. Oh. Oh. Douglas needs to get it going here because he's re representing me in this match. Oh. This is the longest I've ever seen Achmed go in a match. Usually he's done in two minutes. The first time we saw Achmed, he accepted t one of Taylor Maid's hybrid invitational matches where he, he'll fight anybody to defend his championship. So in Achmed's debut, he got a title match. Not. Not a stretch for Derby Wade. Oh. And he hit the X-Men. <laughs> Achmed, Achmed, a big fan of x -Pac. <laughs> Two. I'm going to start calling Achmed's moves uh, with a, a Middle Eastern flavor now. So that way uh, you get him proper, you know, because he puts his own spin. This. Oh, this is a plus storm. Oh, my oh. God. You talk to him? <laughs> Oh, close up! Achmed goes down in a heap. That's a devastating move right there. Two, three. And Achmed, thank you for showing up. We'll see you in Call of Duty. Let me go shoot that man's hand. I'm harder than a consonant, and that's because I'm flyer than the mothership. You ostrich, I'm awesome, rich. Call a bitch, fresher than my lozenges. The problem is you in the danger zone like Kenny Loggins. And